Hey guys, this is Kristen from Printable Cuttable Creatables. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble this snowman dome candy holder. The thing I like about these dome candy holders is that they have a rotating wheel in the back that reveals an opening and this is how you would insert and remove your candy. Cool thing about that is that once the candy is eaten and all gone, you can refill it and use this guy for next year. So let's get started and I'll show you how I put him together. So I have all my pieces cut out. These are all the front pieces that get placed on top of the candy dome. This is the back piece and these are the rotating wheel pieces. The file comes with two rotating wheel pieces, but you're only going to use one of them. One is for if you want to use a bread or split pin fastener, and the other one is if you are going to use the paper disc fastener. So I'll explain that later when we get to that part of the assembly, but for now I'm going to set all of these pieces off to the side and we're going to start by assembling the front of our candy holder. So I'll start by assembling these tiny details. I'll assemble the holly and berry and the little ribbon on his hat and I'll stack those all up on his hat. Now I'll take his face and hands and just layer them right on top of the head. So I've got glue only on the top part of his face here. I'm not going to put glue on the arms just yet. So just the top part of his face I have glue on and I'm going to attach it to the base of his face here. So that's his face. And like I said, I did not glue his arms because his arms are going to hug the dome ornament. So we don't want to glue those just yet. And now I can put on his little carrot nose. and we can put his little mittens on and his scarf together so this for the scarf this is like the little top part of the knot the little knot layers right on top of this notch here on this file okay so now i can go ahead and attach the scarf around his neck i'm just putting glue on the scarf part because the fringe is going to kind of fly away and not necessarily be attached to anything. Okay, and next we can do his mittens. So that's the front of our snowman. And then we're going to attach this his whole face part onto here, but we are not going to glue down his hands because as I mentioned, they are going to hug the dome ornament when we put that in. So I'm just going to apply glue to his head part and just a little bit of his upper arms. Super messy, but I've got glue on his head, his hat and his upper arms, and I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. So now we get to place this over the dome. This is a fillable dome ornament, 3.15 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply glue around the outer edge of this. And I've been using just this uh, same art glitter glue. You can certainly use a hot glue gun for this part. Got a nice coating of glue around the edge of this guy. And I'm just gonna grab my scrap piece of paper and then carefully I'm going to place the front piece over the dome. So I'm just going to push that down all the way around those edges. So once you've got that on there, make sure it's on the way you want it. And then we can set this aside and let it dry really well. While we're waiting for the dome piece to dry, we can go ahead and assemble the rotating wheel. The file comes with two rotating wheels. You're only going to use one of them. If you're using a brad fastener like this, then you're going to use the rotating wheel with the small hole in it. If you are using the paper fastener, then you're going to use the wheel with the large hole. 
So first I will show you how I do the brad one and then we'll do the paper fastener. So for the brad pin, you're just going to go ahead and push the brad through the hole in the wheel and then put the paper disc through that as well. And then you can grab the back piece and put that through the hole as well. And then you can fold that down. And now we have a rotating wheel. If you don't have any brads on hand or you just prefer to use all paper, then I'll show you how to assemble this using the paper disc fastener. So if you're using the paper disc fastener, this shape has four slits in it. So what I like to do is I like to take my fingernail and just place it where those slits end. And then you can carefully fold up one side of that wheel. And then I'm going to do the same with the opposite flap. Just fold it up so that you have two flaps folded up and two flaps that are flat. So I'm going to pinch those folded flaps and I'm going to apply glue to the flat parts. Okay, just a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to line up the center hole here to the center hole on the back piece and glue that on. Okay, so again, we're not gluing down these uh, folded up pieces. Those need to stay folded up and the rest is glued down. So now we can take the wheel and if we pinch these flaps, they should slide right through the opening in the paper wheel. And then we can fold them flat. And now we have a rotating wheel. So the, the paper disc basically acts as a fastener. Now the front piece with our dome has dried. It's on there pretty good. And uh, so now we're ready to attach the front piece to the back piece. I'm actually going to attach this with the foam tape. I have a very thin foam tape, which is going to be good for going around the wheel. If I had bigger blocks of foam tape, I would use them certainly on the top, but I don't. So I'm just gonna use what I have and apply the foam tape around the outer uh, edges of this shape here. So here I have the foam tape applied to the back of the snowman. I made sure to leave space around the wheel because we, of course, we want this wheel to rotate freely. So make sure that you leave some space around it. You don't have to use foam tape, by the way. You could use the glue as well. I've done that on some of my other candy holders. And I'm just going to apply this here. So now we want to just make sure that our wheel can spin. And we're good. So now our dome candy holder is complete. We can go ahead and fill him with treats and give him to someone special.